GCSE Engineering, Hard Engineering versus Soft Engineering for Rivers. Hard engineering are man-made structures built to control the flow of rivers and reduce flooding. Soft engineering are schemes set up using knowledge of a river and its processes to reduce the effects of flooding. Hard engineering. The first method is dams and reservoirs. Dams are barriers built across the river, usually in the upper course, and a reservoir is the artificial lake that's formed behind the dam. They store water, control water flow and prevent floods happening downstream. However, they are expensive to build and maintain and material deposited it happens in the reservoir, so farmland becomes less fertile. Channel straightening. This is when meanders are removed by building straighter artificial channels. Water leaves quickly, which limits the flood risk. However, flood risk may happen downstream instead. Embankments. These are raised walls that are built along river banks. The river can hold more water, so less frequent floods happen. However, it is quite expensive and there is a severe risk of flooding. Flood relief channels. These channels are built to divert water around built up areas or to divert excess water if the river levels get too high. The gates on the channel mean the release of water can be controlled. However, this means increased discharge where the relief of the channel rejoins the river. Soft engineering strategies, flood warning and preparation. The environmental agency issues flood warnings through various media, buildings are modified, residents can prepare sandbags and floodboards prior to floods. In terms of benefits, these warnings give people time to move their possessions and reduces the flood impact. However, the warnings don't actually prevent the flood and modifying the buildings are expensive. Flood plan zoning. These are restrictions on buildings on different parts for a floodplain that are likely to be affected by a flood. The flood risk here is then reduced and the impact of flooding is reduced. However, the expansion of urban areas is limited. Planting trees. Planting trees in the river valley can intercept any rainwater. This prevents any discharge and flood risk falling downstream and collecting. And less land is therefore available for farming and other things like buildings. River restoration. This is making the river more natural by removing man-made levees so that the floodplain can flood naturally. Discharge is then reduced so there's a reduced flood risk Little maintenance is needed, however local flood risk can increase, especially if nothing is done. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and for more videos on GCSE English, Geography, RS and French, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you soon.